doing the work of my father. Yeah. Sit down on your floor. Are you okay? Mm. In my life, never had the need to beg or ask for anything. I've never had the need to pray or ask God for anything. I grew up with a silver spoon. I had everything at my beck and call. It's like everything was handed to me on a platter. Money was the only solution to the problems that I know. And whenever I have any problem, I say to myself, Danny, as long as there is money, there is no problem at all. But little did I know that it's going to turn out this way. There's no problem. It's going to be okay. My name is Daniela, daughter of a successful surgeon, Dr. Joseph Williams. I am the only child of my parents, and I can promise you they take really good care of me. Well, maybe to a point where some ingrates would call me spoiled, rotten, but why do I care? 
I am me and I love me and my family. I'm just so glad to be my parents' daughter. I was a very rude and selfish girl, quite inconsiderate of others, no matter how much I know they have bled for me. That was me, Daniela Williams. You could say I treat people, mostly those beneath me, with little or no respect at all. Good luck. Good luck. Yes, madam. Come, come here. Be fast. Was this car washed today? Ah, yes, ma'am. I wash everything since five o'clock. Watch out. Everything. That's not what I asked you, dumb person. I asked, was this car washed today? Everything I do, everything clean here, everywhere. Since five o'clock. Mm -hmm. So why is there still dirt all over my car? Dotty. You sign man. Oh god. Please just go and open the gate. Go and open the gate, you dumb person. Stupid. I remember when it was time for me to settle down. I had so many suitors coming from the four corners of the world just to marry me. But for some funny reason, I just didn't. What's up, babe? Why are you staring at me like that? Let's break up. Excuse me. No, I'll be excused. And let me warn you, see, lose my number. Don't ever call me again. If you do, I'll block you. Could you must be joking. I'm serious. Oh, wait. Is it because of this drink? Don't worry, I'll pay for it. Barman! Come on, babe. It doesn't Barman! Okay? <laughs> Barman! Babe! I wasn't joking. 
came when I said I wanted a breakup. Peter. It's Pete. It's the same. It's Pete. I said it's the same thing. Fine, fine. Now get out. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck! Mama. Come here. Oh, madam. Yes, madam. Take this features out of here. Bros, no go. They do love. <laughs> madam, you reject this guy flower. I'll give up, won't call you. I gotta go, huh? Come on, I will give. Hello, bye, yeah. I'm okay. My fault, and I'll be madam. What do you mean you want to put an end to this? We just go to our best part. Like we're supposed to be getting married. The point where we stay together and be together forever and ever. Do you have a brain surgery that left so much damage in your head? I told you, I am not going to settle down with you. Okay, fine. Can you at least tell me what I did wrong? What did I do? Is it too much to ask for? Is it something you can tell me? Well, I just got tired of seeing your face. What? Yes. There, you have it. So why don't you stand up and leave? And don't forget to shut my door when you go. Daniela. So that's basically me pushing off every guy that came my way. That was how I was and I had my reasons. Stupid ones I might say. Some were because I don't naturally like them. Most were because they were not in the same class with me. Some, well, they're not just handsome and hence, not my type. Now that I think about it, I think I was just unnecessarily selective and yeah, People did talk. I would never get married. That never bothered me. It's not like I made marriage a priority back then. One day while I was at the salon with my besties, some guy came in, and man, I tell you, he could pass for a comedian, really. When he talked to me, I turned to answer him. Yes, that's pretty much what happened. I have never, ever in my life been that speechless way handsome guy is. That was the first, and yes, it was the last too, because that is how I met my husband, Grace. What, 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 what? What? Daniela, you gave that guy your number upon your first meeting with him. Yes. And you were even smiling sheepishly with him, as if it's normal things to What's not normal? I find him extremely attractive. Really? Yes. He asked you on a date? Yes, he did. And you said yes? Yes, I did. Are you okay? Really? Please, I did. Let's go. It was jazz, my friend said. Yeah, even I'm amazed at myself. But that was it, right? Love at first sight. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Here we are. 
Yes, here we are. I'm going to miss you. Me too. So why don't you stay? Hey. Don't tempt me. You know you are irresistible. See, I don't want your parents to start drilling you with lots of questions. Remember, you said you don't want them interfering in your professional life. Yes, I don't want to have to go. It's okay. Yeah, I fell for him and I fell too deep. I have never loved any guy the way I love praise. He's my all, my everything. He became my everything. Funny how that happened. Out of the guys I've dated, son of top politicians, businessmen, and even some socialites, it was he who had little to offer that stole my heart. But then, he has lots of potential. Once I have seen and heard him talk about, and I was never wrong when I gave him yes for an answer when he dropped down on one knee to ask me to marry him. Getting married to praise was never part of the plan. Sure, he had most of the things I wanted in a man, but the most important part of it being money and wealth was missing. I thought I would leave him one day. I thought I would get tired of him someday, which baffles me because immediately he got down on one knee to propose. My heart screamed yes before my mouth could. My parents believed I was making the biggest mistake of my life settling for such a less man, but I didn't care. My friends said he used jazz on me. Well, maybe it's true, because even up to this moment, I am still irrevocably in love with him. Like, go on vacation, go to hike, you know, some other things. Why don't we go to the Bahamas or Maldives? You know I can't afford to. I know. And that is why it was my special treat to the sweetest man I know. And this is not me trying to show off, okay? This is me being your wife and supporting you in every way. It's alright. You know I have to learn to start saying no to you. Uh, God, I love you. And then you should try to resist before, before learning to say no. Wow. What a vacation. I enjoyed myself. I told fun. you. I told you. My so God, I miss this house. <laughs> to the room. Why didn't you wait for me to get the food ready? Well, I'm here now. So, go to the diner and wait. The food will be ready soon. Okay. Yeah? I'll be waiting for you. All right. How 
that I get so lucky. Because you're meant to. Hey girl. Hmm. I finally. Do you know I've been trying to reach you since? Oh, finally. Are you back? Yes, I am. I'm so sorry. I was going to call you girls. Hmm. But then you have a hobby to consider. My husband is not a problem. But you girls on the other hand seem to be. Can we just stop dragging this? Where are we going to do it? The bill is on me. Hmm. Okay now. As for person we get handsome husband. I see. Oh she love is sweet though. I beg we last see our tongue will reach very soon. <laughs> Somebody saw must find me one day. I don't know what is taking him this long. Uh, there is already someone at the door. I beg you, for where you see that one? Oh yeah, well, we don't do enough of this love story. I beg you, it's getting boring. Okay, fine. Where are we going to meet? Don't worry. We'll come tomorrow. We'll come see you tomorrow. Mm, all right. <laughs> Crazy girls. These girls won't kill me. Of course, not when I'm here. So you hanging out? Mm hmm It's only right that we do. I mean, I've been busy from the wedding to going to honeymoon. I haven't seen them, and I miss them so much. I bet you do. I... I am going to be here the whole time. You won't be around. I'll miss you. Are you going to miss me that much? You know what? I'll make sure to come back on time, okay? Hey. Don't promise what you cannot keep. It's your friends we are talking about here. I know. And you know what? That's exactly what I love about you. Your jealousy. Jealousy? Mm -hmm. It's your friends. Hi! Hi, Praise! Uh, Sophia, you're welcome. Thank you. Sit. We're good, and you? So, where is our friend? Okay, give me time. I'll, I'll get her for you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank Honey? You. Honey? Sophie, why are you staring at me like that? Making some mental balance. Really? On what please? Well, I don't find this kind of guy. Of all the guys she has dated, wanting to be her husband. This is a flop. Yes, I agree. He looks cute and all. He's just fresh out of school. You heard how much he made his paycheck every month. How is she supposed to survive with this guy? <laughs> hey! So Sophie, why you like to drink paracetamol for another person a headache? Now you the guy want marry. I've been now you in debate. I'm just looking out for a friend, nothing more. Oh, Luca, Luki, Lucas, stop looking. Let me tell you something. If Daniela didn't listen to you four months ago when she got engaged, do you think she's going to listen to you now? Besides, Sophie. It should be the other way around. Do you think it's easy to settle down with someone like Daniela? You and I know how difficult she can be. Uh huh. We should be grateful that she actually found a guy that loves her to the moon and back. Our only prayer is that she doesn't wake up one morning and tell us, I want a divorce. I am no longer interested in this marriage. 
and all of those things. <laughs> and I think you should actually pray safe here. Because how they married to this kind of a guy. I bet you. This marriage will not survive six months. What am I saying? Two. <laughs> Sophie. <laughs> Sophie the prophetess. Mommy G O of my time. Oh my, you they see you. You they see. Hey, 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 God, you look I know my friends weren't exactly happy with the way things were with my husband and I. Some believed I married praise to use him, while others believed he married me for my father's money. Whichever one it was, I never paid heed to them because only he and I know the reason why we were in a relationship, which is simple, love. Um, hey, you done? Oh, must you done? I know your friends must be really famished. They have to decide a little patience. Oh, they are not going anywhere after perceiving such amazing aroma. Trust. I am going to make them hate restaurant meals. Mm. Is there anything you would want me to help you do? Yes. What? Go stay with your friends. <laughs> Great. All right, babe. We are waiting. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Enjoyed forever. My goodness, girl, you married the best man in the whole world. No, girls, I am the lucky man here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, okay. I guess it's people just so love, but <laughs> can we have an experience? Of course, we can, bro. So deep. Honestly, I love this. I'm glad you love it. <laughs> I see you like the food. I love it. Yeah. I do. I can get you more. If you don't mind. <sighs> yeah. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. You know, I keep wondering, why didn't you come inside the trust to do your pedicure? Mm -hmm. Mine is good. For real? Yes, I don't want to. Mine is just your good. So. Then I guess it's so unlike you. Because when you used to have to come to students about things like that, when I simply say that the old one is only going to take care of you. Because if that is the case. That is not the case, Sophia. I just said I don't want to. I mean, do I really need to explain myself to you girls? I said I don't want to. I'm fine. It, it's okay, Daniela. It's not something we should quarrel about, okay? <laughs> Honey, you know we are friends, right? So you can actually go there and do your pedicure. The view is amazing. Are okay. you trying to insult me? You know what? I'm not going to stand here and take any disguised insult from you. I'm leaving. It's Daniela! Down. It's not a joke with you. Daddy, it's okay. All right, I have to go. Suit yourself. Look, babe, I know this isn't what you want, but I'm not going to apologize. Doing what I have to do. Take care of this. As long as I, I don't have to steal. I don't have to 
Did I say anything? Things have never been all sugar and honey as the people outside see it. I knew my level in life, but knowing praise is not a man who would stoop low to go to my father to ask for help. He has this pride, which I admire and hate at the same time. At that trying point in our lives, I was so sure I wouldn't last that long with him. But then all it needed was me accepting facts as they are. And things just have to fall into place. How long have you been using this? Is it what? I don't want to explain it. Hmm. I thought I told you we do not need this. We are okay. We are not financially ready for this. Your father's business is still shaking and we need to get back on our feet. I am feet. not complaining, babe. Okay? If I wasn't ready, I wouldn't ask you to stop. You're ready, but I am not. I need to be physically, mentally and emotionally ready, which I am not. Ready. Yes, I am not ready. Do you know what's going to take from me to bring in those tiny humans to life? Please, can you not make a mountain out of a molehill? Please guide me well. Okay, take it easy. Mm -hmm, okay. Thank you. Um, okay. Who was that? Um, I'm really scared. I don't want to fall. Please, can you just take this off already? Okay. 
Fucker, okay. Tada! This is a house. Your new home. Babe, what? you're joking, right? I am not joking. This, this, this is our new home? Yes. You're welcome to your new home, babe. Are you kidding me, babe? This is our house? Of course. How? <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you were shocked. Mm. You know, in the last few years, it's been rough on us. Especially with the cutting down expenses and all that. That's because I was saving up to invest in my father's business. And so far, this is it. And very soon, we will go public. So for the first real contract we made, I decided to get out of this. Oh my As God. As you always wanted. Oh my God, Pam, this is, this is amazing. Yeah. Babe. This is so beautiful. Like I do, it's, it's beautiful. I love it, babe, I love it. Oh my God, I love it. <laughs> This is beautiful. Trust me, babe, you're going to love the interior. Really? It's very beautiful and perfect. Something you're going to like. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah. So, let's go inside. Let's go. Oh my god. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, please, lock the gate. Okay, okay. Go, so, go okay. Right What's all this now? Eh? Why is she not answering her phone? Sunny, Sunny, hold on, hold on. Who is that? So it's me, Gambini. Okay. Oh, oh my mm. goodness. Easy, How easy, much did she easy. Drink? I said I can't. I can't. Easy, babe, easy. Trust me, you do not want to find out. She's completely wasted. I was calling you girls. Why weren't you taking my calls? Mm. I didn't know my phone was ringing. Probably network. I have to be on my way now. It's late. Here, here. Hey. Easy, babe. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Good night. Bye. Please, gently. Gently. All right. Gently, gently, gently. Bye. You cannot walk. Take it easy. Okay. Can you just take wow. you can't walk? Oh, no. Hmm? Shut up, what? You know. You've <laughs> had enough already. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, you can't hear me. 
checking inside. to talk. Danny, I said we need to talk. What? What do you want to talk about? You want to tell me how irresponsible I am? I was sick worried, Danny. I was! It's a long story and you won't understand, trust me. So why didn't you pick up your phone, put a call across? Tell me! Explain things to me! Hey, honey, something happened, I won't be coming home early today and I'll... Oh, praise, just stop, okay? Stop trying to be cynical about this. It won't help. The next time, try calling. The phone was invented for that reason. Is that why you're shouting? There you go again. There you go again. Why don't you just accept your wrongs and face the issues head on? Can you just tell me what's on your mind? Tell me that you no longer want me to hang out with my friends. Like her. I want. Why? Are you thinking about going with some other woman? Please, by all means do. Let me know just... Stop what? Stop talking? Breathing? Because it seems like everything I do around you these days is wrong. So you take your pick and tell me. I am not angry. I just want to eat my food in peace and quiet. Is that too much to ask?
things we don't know happen Some things we don't like come so You want to what? I want to propose to her. Josh, why did panic the shout like say you never hear? You never hear propose before. You're serious, right? I wouldn't have told you if I wasn't. So guy, you get serious with that girl. Huh? Jesus Christ. What? Of all the single beautiful girls in this city. You choose that that is meant to settle with. Listen, Josh. Danny is a very beautiful girl. She's respectful. Forget the fact you don't like seeing her behave the way she does, but that girl is humble and kind. Let's not forget me. If I hear, ah, guy, make I talk. Make you not be like, say, I no talk for this matter. Leave that girl, make she go meet her match. You are not her match. The way they see her, she will seem uncontrollable. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if after marrying her, she will be the one marrying you, not the other way around. <laughs> Leave her, let her go. And you, then you go and find your size. Someone of your match. Think about this, brother. Josh, I want to ask you a question. You are single, right? Yeah. You're not married? I am not. And you're not even thinking about it? Yes. We cannot... We cannot reason together. <laughs> Ella. Ella. Hey, Ella. talk can we not because i sense another lecture coming up i am not i am not lecturing you babe and you know it but that was what it seemed like the other day really praise lectures upon lectures you hurt me, please. It wasn't intentional. I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. I know you were worried. I get it. I know you've overreacted. But it's not what you said. It's how you said it. Every time we talk about this issue, you always make me look like I'm this unreasonable, irresponsible wife who wants nothing but to suck your pocket dry. And that's not who I am. That's not what you are. And I am... I am sorry for making you feel that way. Trust me, it wasn't intentional. 
I know. I do. But it just it picks me with everything that is going on and all the heat that everyone is throwing at us. And then you coming back to see what you said. Look to see if we were according to what they were saying about me. As if I'm nothing but a burden to you. Don't ever say that about yourself. Okay? So, tell me something. Did my mother come around that day? Was that why you went out with the girls? I, I don't want to talk about it. Babe. Baby, promise to tell me the truth at all times. I know, but I don't want to talk about it. Can we not talk about it, please? I forgive you. Can you forgive me too? Right now. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's go. What's that? What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I understand. You want me to marry you? That's how it always is with my husband. Our marriage was never without its ups and downs. But Praise and I always find a way to make it work. One thing I love about him, I am his favorite person, and he's also mine. In normal circumstances, he and I never go that long without making up. But then... Some things we don't know happen. Babe, are you okay? Yes, yeah, yeah, babe, I'm okay. Are you sure you are all right? I'm okay. I'm just doing my usual business. Babe, yes. I said I'm fine. Okay, just go to work. I'm sure that's another client calling your phone. The beauty and secret of a happy home, in all the times I was single, I have always deduced to be money. Money they say stop all nonsense. How true is that notion, really? Because in my three years of marriage, it hasn't gone a halfway in providing a solution to my marital issues. Childlessness. Like I said earlier, having children immediately was an increase in mind's agenda. Well. Let's just say it took three years of constant convincing his family for them not to butt into our marriage. But not now. My mother-in-law is always on my case. No matter how much I really hated her picking her nose into my business, I can't blame her. I am her son's wife. And by right, I am supposed to give him a child. But then, it seems my ex decided to choose at such a critical time to go on a vacation. Yeah. Your mother? Gaze, I can shake it. Can I? Oh. Anyways. Oh, it's okay. Can I show you? I'm fine. I'm just. I'm tired. I'm tired. It's been three years. And I know I said we have a lot of years ahead of us, but three years? And I'm still single. I thought you were married to me. Oh, please, praise. Don't try to make a light out of this. You know what I'm talking about. Your family, your mother, they keep calling. 
for different reasons without hitting the hammer on the nail. And both of us knows what this is about. Why are you worried? I have told you before. When would that be? When we are old and gray? Or maybe when we are rolling around in our grave? Yes, but it's true. This is the first time in my entire life I have been so humiliated. Can you think I'm happy about this? I am not happy either. What are we supposed to do? Since the babies are not forthcoming, other than take care of ourselves and watch what we eat. What, what are you trying to say? What are, you, what are you saying to me? Just come out straight and say it. I know I drink, I smoke, and I party, but that's not enough reason for me not to have a child. Look at Kambili. She parties with me. She got married last year and already has a son. It's been three years without any. Now you want to put the blame on me. I am not saying it to you. Danny, why do you like twisting things around? When I'm talking to you, I am talking to myself too. I see. Do you understand? So that is what your mother told you, right? You are a hypocrite, just like your mother. I am coming. Look at yourself. Ask that first child. Excuse Are you still looking me, like this? Excuse me. Look at you. You're looking good. Really? Yeah. Really? Come here. <laughs> oh, I miss you, baby girl. I, I miss you, you so, so much. I miss you. I miss hmm. you. Oh, you look good. Please don't The hubby is taking care of you. <laughs> I'm talking about hubby. How is your husband? Um, it's fine. Honestly, babes, I am tired. I am tired. Like, I don't know what to do. What should I do? Look at you. You got married last year and you already have a son. But me? Three years and nothing to show for it. And my in-laws, oh, I don't even blame them anymore. I mean, who would want a barren daughter-in-law? Shh. You are not barren. Then, what should I call it? Why am I finding it difficult to conceive? Three years, can believe. A whole three years. Well, it's not been so long, Daniela. You just started trying this year, right? Doesn't matter what you label it. I mean, some people get pregnant without even trying. So <sighs> why didn't I get pregnant when I didn't even want to? Daniela, I need you to understand something. These things work differently for different people. Just because you walked out for this person doesn't mean it will work the same way for you. Let me ask you a question. Have you two tried seeing a doctor? Like getting checked? Checked for what? We are okay, Kambili. If there is anything wrong with us, I would know. I know. I know that you two are okay. But all I'm trying to say is, you need to get checked by a doctor. You never can tell what the problem is. We never can tell how these things work. So you need to do anything that is possible. You could be right, you know. 
I am right, my darling friend. I know this fertility clinic that you can visit. My husband's friend and his wife visited it when they had similar issues like yours. Guess what? In two months, she became pregnant. Now she has four kids. Four. Can believe. Will it work? <laughs> Is it going to work? Trust me, it will work. All you need to do is just have faith. It will. Hey, snap out of this move, please. I've not seen for ages. And here you are boring me with the problem. Can we have a toast now? Oh. And smile. <clears throat> to you. To you too. <laughs> and to so many children that are coming on here. <laughs> I yeah. hope so. I know so. Babe, you want us to do it? I know. It sounds rather repulsive and all, but then... I know, but let's try somewhere else this time. A fertility clinic. Maybe they'll have a better answer for us than what we have on the ground. Please, babe. Please just do it for me. If we do, and everything is positive, will you come down and wait? Yes, I will. You know, I'm... I'm, I'm really tired about all of this. I just, I just want good news. Some things we don't know happen. Right. Some things we don't like come so Really? Yeah. As long as it makes you happy. No it's it is, oh, no thank you so much, baby. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, just keep holding on. Thank you so much. I love you. Some things we don't know happen. Some things we don't like comes away. But no matter what it is, no matter what you're going, I have your result right here. Just keep holding on. There is light at the end of this tunnel. Mr. Ebusin, from, from what I have there, your sexual life is active. You have no infections of any sort. And also your spam count is okay. That makes you pray. Your wife, on the other hand, she's good. Sexual life active. No infections. Um, but, but what, doctor? Are you saying that? No. You say, we say you're not the problem. Um, it's your system. Okay? Uh, you have some irregularities in your hormones, making your fallopian tube to be blocked somehow. How is that even possible? It's definitely possible. It stems from lifestyle. And in, in such cases, it could be living infections untreated in the track for so long. And, but not to worry. Everything I listed there has a solution. And of course, you both are in the center of solution. And I promise you, you aren't going home empty-handed. But I must ask, when did you stop using birth control pills? Um, about uh, like a year and a half now. Okay. And your menstruation, how does it flow since then? It's been irregular. Okay, I think I get to it happens to most women. Um, from what I have here, I think I have to prescribe some drugs for you. Change of lifestyle. I mean, diets that will help balance your hormone. 
so that your ovary will start producing healthy eggs again. Okay, doctor. While at it, I, I would like to know, when would you want to get pregnant? Sorry, doctor, I, I don't understand why you ask me. What I meant is, how soon do you both need the baby? You see, this procedure that your wife is about to undergo does not give room for natural fertilization. You know what I mean? But, however, we have options open for you from which you can choose. Well, I... I think we would rather go with the natural. Yes, Doctor. Anything but definitely not an adoption. I mean, in that case, you have to listen to me attentively. Yes? It was a long list of instructions that he laid out. And quite frankly, I doubted if I was going to be able to survive it. But then, with a man like Praise beside me, it felt like a piece of cake. I exercised, I took my drugs, quit my partying lifestyle, and became a whole new person that my husband even wonders sometimes what has happened to his wife. Whereas, if I were to put it in Nelson Mandela's words, a long work to freedom. At some point, my husband started feeling bad for him, but it's not like there's anything he could do because I was determined to achieve a positive result. Some things we don't know happen Some things we don't like come so Three months later, we went back to the clinic. Hmm. This is good. <sighs> this is good. Uh, you really did well with the instructions. Anyway, Dr. Joshua told me how diligent you were with everything. And your results here just shows it all. Um, thank you. Thank you so much, Doctor. So does this mean that we are ready for the new phase? Definitely. I am going to place you on a four-day appointment so that the needful will be done. And after then, we will proceed with the IVF. All right, Doctor. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. You're welcome. And trust me, as long as everything goes okay, by this time next year, both of you will be on your way to church 
to thank God for His grace. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Pastor. We couldn't wait for the day to come any sooner than it did. In fact, I was keeping the countdown. My husband at some point teased me that he never knew I could be so good with numbers. Yeah, I know. I'm not good with a lot of things. And this situation was just an eye-opener to all that. We were happy that the procedure was successful, but even more nervous as we waited for the news. I have never felt more speechless and loss of words as I held that strip. It was the game changer of my life. Some things we don't know happen. Some things we don't like comes away. But no matter what it is, Babe, no matter you okay? what you're going yes, through, I am. I'll, I'll be right out. Oh, okay. Some things we don't know happen. Some things we don't like come away. But no matter what it is, no matter what you're going through, just keep holding on. There is light at the end of this tunnel. After the rain comes sunshine. Just hold on, beautiful. Just hang on, beautiful. Yes. This is not I'm fine. the end. The end of it all. There is love at the end of this tunnel. I am. After the rain comes sunshine. I think that we are pregnant. Hang on, beautiful. This is not the end. The end of it said I think I'm pregnant. Some things we don't Sorry. know happen. I just I said I think I am pregnant. Some things we don't like, I'm sorry. And uh, fine? yes, no I am. And I'm as positive as I can be with no what? Thanks, Just keep holding on. Oh my god! That feeling when the truth you've known for so long gets confirmed as positive. No matter what you're going just keep holding on. There is light at the end. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Silverson. Your wife is pregnant. Yes! <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you made it. That sense of acceptance, belonging, responsibility. I felt all of them. I've never felt that kind of joy in a very long time. My baby, I believe was going to bring all those lovely moments back into my life. Our joy knew no bounds. We were so prepared to welcome our baby, our long awaited gift, but
some circumstances that I wish the truth I know would be false by all means. Unfortunately, it hardly worked that way. You know that sharp stab of pain when it overwhelms you? Yeah, that's exactly how I felt when the news I so badly feared to hear was given to me as 16 weeks into the pregnancy. I am really sorry for your loss, Miss Daniela. If you don't mind, could you please give us a minute? Of course. You will take all the time you need. Some things we don't like comes away, but no matter what it is, no Babe. matter what you're going through, yeah, need something. just keep holding on. You can't continue like this. Some things we don't know happen. Babe. Some things we don't like comes away. The food is nice. But no matter what it is, no matter what you I made it special for you. Just keep holding on. Some things we don't know happen. Some things we don't like come so But no matter what it is, no matter what you're going. Keep holding on. Some things we don't know Punishing my husband for what we are going through was totally wrong. I mean, I wasn't the only one who lost a child. He did too. But then I just couldn't help it. I had felt my baby growing inside me. I had craved what my baby craved. I did everything I should have done to take care of my baby. But then why? Why did she choose not to stay? Why? I would have taken good care of her. So why didn't she stay? Just hold on beautiful. Just hang on beautiful. This is not the end. The end of it all. You would think that after the first failed attempt, that praise and I would come back to our senses. But no, we went back again. And again, again, again. Beautiful, hang on beautiful, this is not the end, the end of it
for every happiness I felt upon conceiving, there is always a two time foot of sadness that follows. Each attempt always fails at 16 weeks of pregnancy. Why though? The doctors are yet to provide answers to that. And each time I lose yet another, I lose a piece of me and die slowly. But what pains me more is the fact that I was dragging an innocent man who did nothing wrong but loves me with everything he is and has to this olive that of the soul with me and it wasn't fair. What is that? I understand everything. I get it. Yes, you are hot. You, you, you are broken. You feel lost. You are scared and you feel the whole world has come to an end. I know. Tani, we are in this together. Okay? Here I am trying to, to make you better. To face us again. Victor. Yes. Is there anything wrong with us? Oh, I get it. You finally realize that I'm not good enough for you. So you want to indulge in your mother's quest to get another woman. All right, go ahead, get another woman. I am not going to stand in your way. I will be the biggest fool to indulge all this nonsense you're saying. But if you think I am going to fold my arms, watch you die slowly on me, then You've got something else coming. Then what? You want me to make it faster so I can get out of your way? Daniela. I lost the child, Prince. No. Not the child. But children. For the past three years, it's been from one failed IVF to another. All resulted to nothing. Do you know how that makes me feel? No, you won't. Because you're not the one that harbored them. You're not the one that sheltered them. Until they decided that every 14 to 16 weeks, that they no longer want to stay. So you think you're invisible? Do you think you are the only one broken here? Just hang on, beautiful. This is not the end. Do you think I'm not suffering the same thing? Just because I'm not the woman here. 
Do you think I'm not old? I told you. I told you. I told you let's trust and hope on God, but you said no. That was what you said. I was with you through all these procedures. I was with you even when we suffered the loss of a child when we were together. You think I don't feel your pain? You think it doesn't break me? It breaks me. You can scream. You can cry. You can yell. Please. Do not shut down on me. Because if you do, I won't survive it. Please. But I can't give up. You can. And you will. If you've been through this for a long time and no good news is coming by you, it's high time we accept it. Oh no, no. I am not going to accept any fate. We keep talking about God, your God. So, your God that loves and cares about me, part of his plan was to make me barren. Just because everything keeps falling doesn't mean I have to succumb and give up. I cannot give you up. You're a strong woman. You have proved that in every way possible. Okay? We've had enough. This time, no more injections, no more IVF. Nothing more. I rather have a piece of you like this than having another you but losing you entirely. I love you. I love you. And God loves us more. Those that wait upon him, he renews their strength like he will. You heard me? Yeah. Did you hear? I did. Medically, I won't advise you to go on again. Doctor, it's a good thing we already decided on no IVF. Oh, you did? That's good. I understand. 
I understand what you're going through. And I must commend your resilience and steadfastness towards this. But uh, I... But what, Doctor? Uh, is there nothing else we can do? I know you said my body is too weak to go through another IVF, but I get it. But they, I can't give up, right? I can't give up, babe. We can't give up. What have we talked about that? I don't care what we talked about. I just want to have my own child. Our child. Is that too much to ask? Can wait for her and um. So, doctor, you're going to help me, right? <sighs> oh, Miss Daniela, I wish there is something else I could do for you. And it would be so bad of me to keep advising you to go on with this when I know it's detrimental to your physical and mental health. Please, you need to stop and wait on God. Some things we don't know No praise, no. I am not waiting on God or any deity. I am going to do something about my condition. At the detriment of your life? Life? You call this life? Without the cry of a baby? Then why is he not doing me justice? What does he want from me? Is it money? He should name it so I can give it to him. Stop this, babe. Stop it. You cannot bribe God. He doesn't want our money. Then what does he want? What? This is the one thing I have asked him my entire life. And it's taking him several years to do it for me. And you want me to sit around and wait for him? No, I won't. You are not having it. Stop throwing tantrums like he's the architect of our problem. We gave it our all and you know it. You heard what the doctor said. Your womb is weak. You heard it. So I won't sit here and watch you commit suicide just because you want to give me a child. I won't. Just hold on You would think that him saying all those things was going to make me give up on my quest to find a way to have a child. But no, even behind his back, I was meeting people, different types of them, going from one doctor to another, trying different drugs with the hope of good results. But did it come? Two years more. Still no show. But in all of this, I have made a promise to myself that I will never cast past that happiness in our mind. Well done, my daughter. 
welcome. Mama, you, you didn't tell us you were coming. I hope there is no problem. Where is my son? He's been on a business trip since last week, but he'll be back today. Today is our anniversary. Marriage anniversary? Yes, ma. And how long again has it been? Which year are you both celebrating? Eight years, ma. Eight years? Yes, ma. Eight years! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight! I'm going to Eight years you have been living in my son's house and yet no child. And you have the guts. You have the temerity to stand before me to tell me you want to celebrate marriage anniversary. Which marriage anniversary? The failed one or the childless one? Tell me which one you want to celebrate. Mommy, shut up your mouth. Don't ever cut me short when I'm talking. Are you hearing me? Because you don't have shame. Or you think I am here to listen to all those your flimsy excuses and sermon? See, I am done. I am tired of hearing those boring stories over and over again. Joan, yeah. stand up. How? Don't. Go get me there. <laughs> Why material? Hundred percent. No, one thousand. <laughs> hey, good girl. Joan is here to do what you have failed to do in eight years of your marriage. So. As a good woman, I have always been. I will advise you to go in there, pick all those your dirty and barren belongings you have in there, and get out of my son's house. Mm. Mommy, I'll be in there. Yeah. Your room kill you, dear. Which room? Is this your father's house? When my son was struggling to build this big mansion, did any of your family members contribute a dime to support him? I said to go and get your things out of my son's house. You're telling me your room. Mommy, don't worry. Yeah. Oh, mommy. Mommy, you're hurting me. The same way you have been hurting my son for the past eight years. You have been making his life miserable. You turned a full-fledged young man to a barren man. What did I do to you? Mommy, let me go. Let me go. I knew a day like this would come. I dreaded it. But I never imagined it would be worse. My mother-in-law, the woman I've always called mother, took as my mother and loved so dearly, treating me like I was picked from the gutters. Well, I thank God my husband came back just at the right time. Hey, why you have God the way they're helping you? You never even deal with your predicaments. You are barren, ugly situation. You look me finish, you say you go deal with me. Hey, like you know, you know where. See, where I come from, eh? Like you know where you are. I be asked from Peter, ask of me. I know they're humble. You like they don't know where you See. Make I just tell you now where I come from. We know where no. I go deal with you. I go just change and na 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 for you. No, not just joke with you. Did they hear me so? Don't play with me. I go beat you now, blue and black. Yeah, na 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 na. Oh my Bang, goodness! I am warning you. You are warning me. I am warning Waka. you. Do not get close Waka. to me. I am warning you. Your grace. I. Your head. No you are insulting me. Your head. No correct. Did they hear me so? What you are doing here? Who went to my wife? Come I asked you a question. What are you doing here? And who are you? Just hang on, beautiful. This is not the end. Mama? The end of it all. There is light at the end of the
Mama, what is going on here? Why are you taking my wife boxes? Mm -mm. I'm sure you're not blind. Hmm? You're supposed to see what is happening. Today! Eh? In fact, thank God. Thank God! Oh, your name praise. This is why I named you praise. And your name is speaking for you and will continue to speak for you. Praise God that today, this barren witch is leaving your heart. Mama, I will pretend I did not hear you. You didn't call my wife a witch. Ah, uh, what else is she? Isn't that obvious? Eight years. Eight solid years without a child. Eh? Eight years and her stomach is still as flat as paper. And you say she's not a witch. What else will make a woman not to have a child? If not that she has eaten all the babies in her womb. Come on, praise. Is it me, your mother? You're talking to like this. Eh? Is it me? I did not. Praise. I carried you in this my womb for nine months. Gave you suffer with this my breast for three years. You didn't even want to stop, but I forced you. Is it me you're talking to in that manner? Eh, friends? Mama, I did not talk to you in any manner. Please. Eh? I won't have you insult my wife right before me. And who is this idiot? No, 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 no. Her name is not idiot. Eh? In fact, her name is Joanne. The beautiful Joanne. Well packaged. Well loaded, hundred percent white material. No, I, <laughs> I just imported her for you, brand new, so that she can do for you what this witch could not do in eight years. Imported white for you, right? Yes. You want me to throw them out? Exactly. If there's anyone that needs to go to this house, this is this house. This must be ready for her. Eh? Me. Just tell her to leave my house this morning. Mama, me. Just ask her to leave my house. Come, praise. Praise my son, me, your mother. You are asking me to leave your house. Eh? Is that what you're telling me? Because you're here to terrorize my wife. Hey. 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 Mommy, what is he saying? Hey, honey. Just, if you could just put more, put more chickpeas on the next side. You know, before we reach one more, I don't. Hey! 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 So this is what you have done. You think I take my son away from you? Huh? Eh? Pray! Me, your mother! Hey! This witch! This witch has been in my son of friends! Pray! Hey! Somebody help you! They have been with my son of! I am sorry, Danny. You don't deserve this. I know what I don't deserve. And it's you, Praise. Isn't it obvious? I'm causing too much damage in your life. I am not good for you. Finish that statement and you will have a very big issue. I know it's hard for you, but don't forget the promise I made to you on our wedding day, to love and to cherish you. And that includes fighting for you, because I'm the only one left to do that, no one else. Why did you marry me, Prince? It couldn't have been all about love. What are you fishing for? What are you fishing for, Izali? Tell me the truth. The truth. Okay. Maybe we should start with correcting that notion. 
I chose to marry you, not the other way around. Even if it was the other way, I will still end up with you. Then I chose you because I found peace with you. You're smart. You're funny. You have a great sense of humor. So who would want to give all that up? Yes, I know we sometimes experience ups and downs. But in all honesty, I love you, Danny. I love you for all the wrong reasons that don't make sense. But to me, they make a whole lot of sense. I will love you till my dying day. Because you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. Hey, I keep disappointing you. How could I still be? Please, listen to me, darling. Just promise to give your all to me. Why are you staring at me like that? Is there something on my face? You are naturally beautiful. I mean, your beauty reminds me of our first date together. You were really fun in class. <laughs> for me. Uh, yeah. Seriously? That wasn't for me. That is who I am. Sure. Baby, I want to ask you for a favor. Okay. <laughs> well, if it's something I can do, why not? I have a New Year resolution and that is spending more time with God. I want to spend more time with God. I want to pray again and again and again. It's not as if I haven't been praying, but I want to pray more than and I want you on this journey with me. Yeah. Can you do that for me? Oh. You know, it's been a long while since I went to church. I can't even remember the last time. It's going to be strange to me, but if that's what you want. Trust me, baby. Okay, I will. So, let's cheers to better days ahead. Cheers. Oh. Thank you. Embracing God was one of the best resolutions which turned into routine in the following year of our marriage. We kind of found the peace and quiet that for the longest time eluded us. It was then 
that I experienced the same. A family that prays together stays together. Maybe God knew that I wasn't going to church because I believed in him exactly and probably that was why he struck me yet again. Honey, I've been calling you and... Honey? It's time you tried somewhere else. I already said that. Does it really matter what you say? Want of you? This is all about what she wants. What she thinks, she believes, and 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 owes you. Owe to herself. She is not going to stop until she has given you a child. She is that stubborn. Dad, I can't let her go through that. IVF again. Her body's already getting weak. I can't take chances. I'm not talking about taking chances. I'm talking about finding the root cause of this problem and tackling it once and for all. Or do you think it is normal for a woman to miscarry all through her seven pregnancies? Grace, it is time she really gets checked. And I want to see for that. So, <clears throat> you tell me what is needed and I will come with the rest. Um, I have a gynecologist in Germany. I want her to get in there and get tested so we know exactly what we are dealing with. Mm -hmm. You think you can stop her from taking off the shoes? Finding the root cause of this problem is first. And we hope we will find it very soon. I can't lose my daughter. She's everything I have. My only child. She's important more than every riches on this earth. Please, whatever you want to do, do it first. It's okay. Nothing will happen to her. She will be fine. Meanwhile. Thanks, Dad, for, for coming around. I really appreciate it. I have told you never to thank a father for coming for his child's sake. You both are my kids. Your sanity and safety is my priority. Okay? Still, thank you. <laughs> um, welcome. You're welcome. What should I get for you? I'm sorry. I should have told you. I was just... I was scared what his fate would be if you find out. What, Mom, were you planning to tell me? 
when it starts showing. How did you even do it? Wait. He used your donor. Truly. I'm sorry, Praise. I am so sorry. And if that was a stupid and selfish decision you made back there, you could have been dead. I could have lost you. Your parents, your friends. Do we all really mean nothing to you? Is this child the only thing that matters? It was stupid, but... There is no but here. You did what you did, not minding how your single decision was going to change your entire life. I could have lost you, no? Following my father's suggestion, my husband made an appointment with a gynecologist in Germany. Mm, and what? two days later, I was flown over there for my tests. It's a medical condition where a weak cervical tissue causes or contributes to premature death or the loss of an early pregnancy. Your service is too weak to have only. What happens if you have an incompetent service? Your service might begin to open too soon. What's going to Wait, wait, just back up a little, doctor. Are you trying to say that I have a weak service and it keeps tearing up? That's why I can't keep a baby to full term. That's basically what the report says. However, there could be a solution for you. And that would be? Survival savage. It means teaching. So, so why didn't the clinic talk about it? Why didn't they tell me all this while? Well, this solution to that is even ongoing. Not, not, not many countries know about this. And because African women hardly suffer miscarriages the way they do over there. So, stitching it up, it's all that is needed and everything will fall into its rightful place. Precisely. But that doesn't guarantee not having miscarriages. Other factors could also stimulate multiple miscarriages too. But not this. This stitches should be done between 12 weeks to 16 weeks of pregnancy. Do you understand? I'll do it. Done? Yes, I will. If it's going to give me one more opportunity to give you a child. Dad, do you think it's a wise idea? Son, you do not like this at all. But just look at her. A little glimpse of hope Let's her keep breathing again. Allow her. <sighs> it's fine. Things haven't exactly settled down since my last miscarriage, and to make matters worse, Praises fear we are heightened by the idea of IVF again. I'm sure he has his reasons, but then he didn't know his nervousness was making me question every decision I had made, starting from going to get fixed up. I remember that night, just two weeks before my scheduled IVF appointment, 
I felt him get in bed with me. And then minutes later, I felt him stand over my stomach and I could hear him. There was something wrong with his voice. I could tell he was breaking inside along with the prayer, but there was nothing I could do or say that is going to make him feel less the way he's feeling now. In all, I have started to learn how to leave things to God. I think you need to see the doctor. I've told you, honey, I am fine. That's I'm what you've fine. been saying for over two weeks. That's because I've been free to nervous. Moreover, they said the IVF will be in three days' time. You just have to check. Okay, to satisfy your curiosity, I will. I am driving you. Hmm? Are you serious? Baby. You are weak and tired. Do you think I'm going to let you drive yourself to the hospital? Oh, you be stop. Get up. Get dressed. Babe. Hmm? I said get up and get dressed. Get up. Get up. Oh. <laughs> Start the car. Come. What is wrong with you? He said start the car. Let's go. Are you going to tell me what is wrong with you or you want me to go in there and ask him himself? I'm pregnant. Excuse me. I'm pregnant. That is what's wrong with me. How is that possible? What? Uh, yes. Your IVF appointment is in three days. And the doctor said you can't get pregnant naturally. So how did it happen? What are you saying? We do have sex, don't we? Moreover, he said that the fertility window by nature is highly probable. So, we are pregnant? Yes, we yeah. <laughs> are. <laughs> All right, get into the car, let's go. Okay.
was the way through. Charms. Room. Charms. I was going to be corrected, so I wanted to have your view on it. Um, I mean, it's just uh, two rooms down before ours. So, I also want to install baby monitors. What do you say? How do you say it? This one or the other one? I think this is perfect. Charm. And you? You will perfect. No. I am not. But together we are. Yes. Why do you sound like you don't want me to do it? I mean, it's not like I don't want you to do it, but I do not want you to do it. Sorry. Really? Yes. Stress myself. Do you know for the past 18 weeks, you've not let me do anything. As little as lifting a cup. A cup, praise. So how can doing this one thing I want be stressing myself? I do want you to do what you love. But we do not have to ignore the red things. The doctors are not stupid to prescribe those for you. And talking about the eating weeks, we're seeing the doctors tomorrow. Oh. You are so stubborn. What? For the most part of my pregnancy, we hardly had sad news. Even though it was the most delicate pregnancy I had, it was kind of blissful that I hardly even realized I had some problems or could have complications. I counted the days, and before long, I had just two months to go. I was happy. I was gradually close to my term. I was sure I was going to carry my child this time. I was so sure of it. Oh. Hello. Oh. I'm not fine. I have this excruciating pain that won't stop. It keeps intensifying every moment. I need to go to the hospital. Ah. Uh, I've already ordered an Uber. Ah, 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 Madam, Madam, the cap is here. Madam, my son, I had to get here as quickly as I could. Hi, she. What about the baby? <laughs> Nothing yet, Maria. Nobody is telling us anything, my sister. Huh? All we know is that they are trying to bring out the baby. Take out the baby? Yes.
Dr. Harish. Oh, the surgery was successful. Yes, um, it was a serious fall, I must tell you. And given the time of the fall and the time she was rushed over, she had lost a lot of blood. But she's fine now. Though we have to monitor her condition until we are sure she's okay. Oh, thank God. How, how is the baby? I'm really sorry, Mr. Ibusin. We lost the baby. Ha! <sighs> We tried all we could, but the baby suffered serious damage from the hemorrhage. I'm so sorry. My baby, what, what happened? Calm, Wait, where's my baby? Is she okay? Your baby is fine. Are you, are you sure? Are you, are you lying to me? Is she okay? I want to see her. And you will see her, okay? Your baby is sound and safe. Hello, Daniela. How are you? Doctor, I'll be fine when you show me my baby. I want to see her, please. It's okay. What you need right now is rest. When you're all and fine, we'll talk about this. Okay? So just relax. So, so he's not, he's not lying to me. I'm fine. I'm just coming out from the bathroom. I want to use myself. Okay. Nurse, I wonder what's keeping my husband. Oh, don't worry. I'm pretty sure he'll be here soon. Okay. And, and truly, ma'am, I'm so sorry for your loss. I mean, no mother deserves to go through that pain. I'm so sorry. What, what are you talking about? Um, I managed to get the doctor's permission to get you some food. Excuse me. Come back. You lied to me. How? You told me she lived. You told me she made it. Of course she's alive. I... The nurse just said sorry for my loss. I... I... Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, Don't stop. touch me! Stop. 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 Leave me alone! Just stop. Leave me alone! I want to see my... This is what I feared for. This violence. 
and it is not good for her. The way I am seeing her right now, she is not going to take this news easily. Unless the hard way. Some things we no. don't know happen. You are not going to go back to her. She, she, she's Some not mad. She like will not. No, she's not mad. She is just not here. She is wherever that baby is. She believes that everybody in this hospital lied to her. That makes the entire hospital her enemy. How are we going to help her recover in this situation? Some things we don't like comes away. I need to take my wife home. But no matter what it is, I believe she'll be normal. No and she sees herself to the next Just keep holding on. And as for that mess that caused this commotion, I hope your body's doing something about it. Because I want to take it back to you. Come sunshine. Excuse me. Just hold on, beautiful. Just hang on, beautiful. This is not the end. The end of uh, the video. Sincerely apologize. I don't use behind. There is you know, he's going through a lot. I hope you understand. I don't understand. So, what do you want? You're on the field. Sunshine. Just hold on, beautiful. You know how this works. Honestly, this is the first time Nature has beaten me hands down. I don't know where to go. In other words, you think, I think. That's right. Danny? Danny? Babe, what's this now? Eh? What are you doing here? Babe.
don't don't say a word. The baby is asleep. my son. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, how was your day? Fine. How is it? Um, still the same way. She barely managed to eat in the morning and then she went out to buy something. She bought something? Books, I think. And since then, she has held on to herself. Books. Yes. There is light at the end of this okay. Let me see her. Oh, please. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Just hold on, beautiful. Just hang on, beautiful. This is not the end. The end of it all. There is light at the end of this world. You're done. Honestly, Pastor, this is beyond me already. I don't know what else to do. I don't know how to handle this situation. It's like it's, it's getting worse with each passing day. No, friend. You will not give up. The Lord will not give you all the strength for you to give up. I understand. Never let him disappoint you. Other men won't appreciate his glory and mercy. You must stay fast in his presence and never question your power. Keep her hand, protect her and her. Just continue praying for her that I and the congregation will be the one to be Thank you very much, Pastor. Thank you. I never wanted to remember that there was a time I was this close to being a mother and I lost the chance. And maybe that was my forever chance. But then, I couldn't continue living in denial. It took praises, fervent prayers to God and efforts of the team of psychiatrists my father got for me to get back to my normal self. Believe me, it wasn't easy going through that therapy, embracing my pains, and talking about them, sharing the experience with others who had gone through similar situations as I had. And all through that, he always held my hand. Praise, it was just me who was going through that hell. He did too. Where are you going to? 
lie to me also? I was going to tell you the truth eventually. I only needed you to, to be physically and mentally okay before I can give you the news. You just go ahead and say what's in your mind because I know you didn't come up with those questions only to run away. Fine, let's get into box. Excuse me, you heard me. That is what I want. You need to get married to somebody else, give your parents a child, children, just make them happy. don't get it. I am done. I can no longer be a mother. I had my chances. All eight of them. And the one that was going to be hopeful failed too. I was this close to, to carrying her in my arms. Don't tell me about God. You've always talked about him. You've always believed in him. You've had faith in him. And you've taught me to have faith in him too. But what has he done for you? Look at me. I am childless and on the verge of losing my marriage. So don't you stand there and tell me that God knows it all. Some things we don't know. Maybe you problem is because you've not really Some trusted him. Some things we don't like, I'm sorry. You've not really believed in him. But no matter you've not had faith in the Lord. No matter what you're going through. Yes, you have. Just keep holding on. It is not enough. Some you can take care of everything. Praise works with me and also gave me hope. I remember walking into the room and knelt down and prayed for the first time for my sincere heart. I felt free and some burden lifted off my shoulders just by saying these words. Dear Jesus, help me. I can't do this alone. All I ask is just a child. And if you do more, that wouldn't hurt. Thank you, Lord. I stood up and went away. 
is my little sea. It will be set back. Heavily. Pastor, do you think he's ever going to forgive me for my sins? For everything I did and all the people that I hurt? Sister Daniela, our God is a merciful God. Ever loving and forgiving. No matter how dirty you think you are sins are before me, or how worthy you think they are. Our God will accept you back and give you everlasting peace and joy. As for children, they are gifts from God. He said it in his word in Isaiah 46, 8 to 11, that there shall be no barren woman among these six people. And I know my God will never start with you to the bed. Brother Prince, Pastor, Sister Daniel, yes, Pastor. it shall be well with your souls. Amen. At the right time, God will visit you. Amen. Amen. Don't worry. This seems strange that I don't feel like being pregnant again. Come on, babe. You don't have to say that, okay? There is no point getting all worked up about this. Whatever happens, I am here with you. Why not see it this way? This is God's way of telling us that you need it. I mean, you couldn't have conceived again, but hell yeah. And I can assure you, he that started this will definitely see us through. This one will stay. has come to take us out of this barrier.
Mr. and Mrs. Sewis. Oh, yes. Madam, how are you? I'm fine. She's fine now. I can see that. Yeah. Can the nurse bring your baby now? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. She will come with me. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Children, children, yes. are you happy? Come on. Yes. Uh -huh. So we're about to cut the cake. You have to spell miracle. So you cuts. will spell miracle, then he cuts the cake. All right? Let's go. M I R a C L E Miracle BPP always dreamt of this day. For the past 10 years of my marriage, I've always fantasized of how this day is going to be like. And here we are. So I want to say thank you to everyone that was with us through thick and thin. Some of you may know, and some of you may not know the truth, but this journey was not an easy one. So I want to thank my parents for being there for us. My parents and law and my amazing friends that was always there to support me. And to the person who would be with me day in and day out, the person that was there for me, who walked through the furnace and burnt with me, my rock and my darling husband, Frey, I want to thank you especially for being there for me. You're a different specimen of man. I mean, if all men were like you, there wouldn't be any reason for divorces. Marriage would have been a very sweet place to be. So I want to say thank you. I couldn't have made it a day without you. Thank you so much. And I love you. I don't know. <laughs> So let the practice begin. Hooray! <laughs> 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 okay. Um, yeah, sure. So let me hug mommy first. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you. Uh, I have more of this in there, so we'll be just a for that, okay? <laughs> ah. Hey, Bobo, thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Daniela, and this is my story. Some things we don't know. 
Sweet on